remoralization. The world could feel an increasingly demoralizing place. You don't have to look far to see the problems and the struggles, but you can't let this break you down. As much as I can, I try to take the stoic view that is to differentiate between what I can control and what I cannot control. That of which that I cannot control, I try my best to disregard and focus my energies only on that of which I have the ability to change. I also like Jocko's philosophy of good. No matter what the situation, no matter what's happening, always look for the good in every situation because there's always going to be good there in times ahead that are going to be harder than those times which have gone before. We should look for the good that we have the opportunity now to be physically prepared, mentally prepared, the best men that we could possibly be. And that's a good thing and that's something we should strive towards. At the moment I'm using this time to try and become more independent. We're fitting a wood burner to our house, at least one, maybe two. That's more independent energy, less reliant on, you know, the, the main network, gas, electric companies, Russia. Things are outside of my control. I can put energy back into my control, at least somewhat, and be at least a bit more independent for myself and my family. We live in the peak of human civilization. It's, it's, it's easy to focus on the negative. There's a reason why news papers and news stories always focus on the negative. The human brain has a bias towards the negative. We will read negative news stories more than positive news stories negative cells, negativity cells. But it's a polarized world for every good thing, there's a bad thing and it seems to be stretching out. Good things are growing exponentially, but also the problems in the system seem to be growing exponentially, at least at the moment. So things are polarizing. We should focus on the good a lot more than the negatives because most of the negatives we don't really have that much control over, but the positives, what we do, how we react, those are things that we can change and change for the better. You know, we have more opportunities with, with the internet, with, with video sharing platforms such as this. There's more opportunities available to each and every one of us today than any point throughout history. This really is the peak of human civilization. There's, there's more music, there's more films, there's more culture, there's more content on this website that you're watching this on now that focuses specifically to things you're interested than there was yesterday and tomorrow there'll be even more so we really are at the peak of human civilization don't focus on the negative focus on the positives no matter what happens in the near to medium future if you prepare now if you try and be the best prepared man physically and mentally that you can be we'll get through this okay because just an ill-prepared mentally weak person in the near future isn't going to be that good for anybody. Certainly not good for anybody in your immediate tribe, your, your immediate community. Maybe a weak person is useful to the people that gain from these kind of situations. But you're not going to be useful to your tribe, to your community, to those nearest and dearest to you. So use this time to prepare. Use this time to remoralize because there is exponentially more good in the world than there was yesterday and maybe more tomorrow and we'll keep growing and we'll keep growing so be remoralized i think things will be okay but things will be a bit bumpy in the near term as well that's just unavoidable that's something we can't change it's outside of our control all we can control is how we respond to it and how we get through it I'll see you in the next video.